afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2013 uh, Mitsubishi Triton GLXR this afternoon and um, as you can see just from the front of the car at the start of this video, stacks of gear on this car. So as you can see we've got the full bull bar there with uh, winch fitted, driving lights as well, our UHF aerial as well. And as you can see also, it has had a lift on it as well. Um, you can see the, uh, the different springs in through the wheel arches, so certainly set up for off-road in a big way. Um, we've got the aftermarket uh, tyres as well with our all-terrains. Um, uh, what else do we have as we come down the side of the car here? Electric side steps as well, which we'll demonstrate to you a little bit later. We've also got the snorkel. Uh, chrome exterior mirrors with our indicator incorporated in the mirror, chrome door handles as well. Uh, tinted windows throughout and overall for a black car, I mean, if I could see any really bad marks, they'd probably stand out a fair bit, but it, it looks a clean enough car. Obviously would have gone off-road at some point in time, but uh, as we get around towards the rear of the car, it's also got the aftermarket alpha canopy on it as well. Um, we'll have a bit of a look in there now early on in the video. A few little touch-ups on our tailgate which is consistent with the age of the car. And then as we open up the tailgate you can see it's got the genuine tub liner, all of our factory car mats, it's even got the neoprene seat covers and they're not cheap those seat covers I can tell you. You've got your 12 volt outlet and your additional plug there as well. Um, but in good order in the back there. Uh, and the other thing to highlight while we're around at the rear of the car, it's got the rear step as well. Also got our tow pack. As you saw, we keep the tow bar tongues locked inside the cars. Three ton towing on this particular car. And then as we move around to the passenger side, once again, fairly consistent in the, uh, the exterior paintwork. I mean, you know, you're going to have the odd, odd little mark here and there, but uh, for a 2013 model, certainly presents in really good order. So back around at the front of the car now, we'll just have a little bit of a chat about the um, chat about the performance of the car. Just touch touch harder. So even though they usually just have the bonnet rod to hold it open, they've added the pneumatic uh, struts, so that holds it up out of the way. Also notice it's been fitted with dual battery system um, and the little battery charge or battery saver as well. So um, you know everything they've done to this car, they've done it correctly. Um, as far as all the accessories and everything like that. 131 kilowatts of power out of our 2.5 litre turbo diesel, 400 newton metres of torque, delivering 8.3 litres combined per 100 k's. So you certainly got a, got a hamburger with a lot on your hands here. The other thing uh, that we didn't mention earlier, just as you do come around to the car, as soon as you access the car, the electric side steps automatically come into play. Okay, so every time you either open, open the door of the car, they will automatically come out just to assist you in getting in and out of the car. We are inside the Triton now, we'll just run through everything that's in here as well um, and whatever they've also added to the car inside. All our power window switches as standard on the driver's armrest, our exterior mirror uh, switches just up the front here, traction control button and then the button for our driving lights as well. So. Um, all down to the right hand side of our steering wheel there. Steering wheel as you can see in extremely good order. Cruise control settings on our right, audio on our left and then all of our Bluetooth buttons down here as well. Uh, you move over to the multi-function screen now. Um, does have an aftermarket head unit and uh, does also have satellite navigation um, fitted as well. Uh, and uh, reverse camera there also. So certainly a very, very good little setup there. Inside here, you've got your, uh, your cavity for your SD card auxiliary and USB ports as well. Um, then our climate control, air conditioning controls here. Does also have the wind booster there, just to uh, drop some of our turbo lag. Uh, a couple more USBs down here as well. Being the GLXR, you've got the electric rear window also and then our UHF set up there as well. Five speed manual gearbox, our four wheel drive lever on our right hand side, handbrake and cup holders behind that as well. Our red arc brake controller is installed here 
um, and actually a really good installation because it's been installed right out of the way and then once again more auxiliary plugs in there as well and we've got a little maybe an e-tag there as well um, also just have a look at the carpets and the seats as we scan around the inside of the car um, certainly really well looked after because as you can see um, just presents basically as new um, airbag safety you've got front and side airbags as well um, so certainly a, a really nice car I didn't mention the dash mat which is uh, a little bit retro 80s but that's okay I just wanted to protect it um, only done 78,000 k's this car uh, originally bought uh, from Zups in uh, Brisbane, who are a dealership that have been around for a very, very long time. Um, all of the service history is up to date, all the way through from new. So, uh, in rest assured in the knowledge, this car has been extremely well looked after as well. So I hope this has given you a really good idea of the Triton that we've just had a look at, 2013. GLXR and I'm not going to run through all of the extra accessories again it's got that many of them hope you've had a really good look at the video and give us a call on 9907055 and one of us will be able to assist you further